Kingfisher Interpretive Center Lesson 7, The Salmon Life Cycle. Well, good morning, boys and girls. My name is Shona, and I'm here today to talk to you about the salmon life cycle. So let's get started and see what you know. So first of all, how does a salmon start its life? Well, a salmon starts its life as an egg, just like that. Now, boys and girls, do you know where we can find salmon eggs? Do we find them in a pond? No. Do we find them in the ocean? No. Well, if you said river, boys and girls, you are right. We find salmon eggs in rivers. Okay, now that we have our salmon egg, we have a little fish growing inside this egg. And as that fish starts to develop, we can see two little black dots. What do you think those might be? Do you have any idea? Any idea? Well, let's have a look. So those are the salmon eyes. And now we have an eyed egg. So boys and girls, if you're receiving salmon eggs in your school or in your classroom, this is the stage that you will receive them and you'll get to see those black dots too. Okay, now when these eggs, these eyed eggs hatch, what do you think they hatch into? They hatch into something we call an alevin. Now, if you look closely at this guy, you can see he's got a big orange tummy. Now that orange tummy is called a yolk sac or another name for it, I like to call it its lunchbox because that's where its food is. If you look really closely, you'll notice that this fish doesn't have all of its fins yet. He's not a very good swimmer. So that lunch box right here, that's where the food is and that fish can slowly take in all of the nutrients until it grows bigger and bigger and grows the rest of his fins that he's gonna need to swim around. So when this Alvin's yolk sac is gone, he is now a fry. So here's our salmon fry. Now, boys and girls, you can see that this fish has all of its fins now, but there's no yolk sac, there's no lunch box. So our salmon fry is very hungry. So the first thing that this little salmon fry is gonna do is he's gonna wriggle out of the rocks on the bottom of the river. He's gonna swim right to the surface of the river and he's gonna take a big gulp of air, <gasps> just like that. But he doesn't need that air to breathe. We know that fish use gills and their gills are right about here, in behind here. They breathe through gills in the water. So that little fry swam to the surface, took a big gulp of air to fill something that it's got inside of them called a swim bladder. It's like having a little balloon and it runs along the spine of the fish. And now that that swim bladder is full of air, our fry can float in the water. He's not gonna sink to the bottom all the time. So that makes it easier for our fry to swim around and look for food. So now our fry is floating, but he's still hungry. What do you think this fry is gonna eat? Is he gonna find any pizza in the river? No. So what food is available for this little fish? Well, I'll tell you, this fish is gonna be hunting for little bugs little water bugs that live in the water. And that's gonna become our food source for our baby salmon. So our little fry has now found some bugs. He's been snacking away for a few months. He's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, but he wants to go somewhere where there's more food. Now he can't swim to Walmart, so he's gonna go find more food in a place he can get to. So where do you think that might be? If you said the ocean, you're totally right. So our little fry is gonna start migrating, gonna head down towards the ocean. And on the way, he's also changing again. He's growing up some more. And now we call him a smolt. So our fish is bigger, it's getting shinier, and it's on its way to the ocean. Now, just before it gets to the ocean, something happens in the water. So he's been in fresh water his whole life, swimming down the river, and then all of a sudden the water starts to taste different. It smells different as he gets closer and closer to the ocean because the salt water from the ocean is mix mixing with the fresh water from the river. And now our little fish needs to stay there for a while and get used to salt water. So this is an important, very important habitat for our young salmon. 
and we call it an estuary. So our little smolt, our young salmon, is going to hang out in the estuary and get used to living in salt water. And that may take a little time. So let's say our young salmon has now gotten used to the salt water. Now he's gonna head out into the great big ocean where there's lots of food. And after a couple of years, we now have adult salmon. So salmon can spend anywhere from two to say seven years in the ocean, depending on what kind of salmon they are and where they came from. So let's say that we have a Chinook salmon. This Chinook salmon has spent four years in the ocean, getting bigger and bigger, has survived all of those predators out there. But now this fish wants to go home. Why does it want to go home? What does it want to go and do? Well, if you said to lay its eggs and spawn, you're right. So our adult salmon finds its way back to the river that it swam out of four years ago. And when it leaves that salty ocean behind, there's something it stops doing. It actually stops eating. And we think that these fish stop eating so that there's food left behind for their babies to survive. And so there's room inside of them for their eggs to grow or their milt to grow. Boys and girls, does anybody know what milt is? And where do we find the milt, in the boy fish or the girl fish? Well, the milt is found in the boy fish and it's used to fertilize the eggs that are found in the girl fish. Okay, now these fish are also using one of their senses. They're using their sense of smell and they're gonna smell their way back to the stream where they were born. They remember what their home stream smells like and it's one of the ways they find their way back home. And as they're swimming home, they're going through one more change. Their bodies are changing color. They're changing shape, so this fish is darker. You can see it's growing a bit of a hook in its nose. And if it's a girl, her belly's gonna get bigger, full of eggs. And the males, they might grow a bit of a hump on their back as they return to where they were born. And we call these fish spawners. So they've come home to lay their eggs and to start the next life cycle over again. Okay, now I would like to give you a demonstration on how the fish actually spawn. First of all, I would like to introduce you to my friends. This is a male salmon. His name is Sam, and this is the girl salmon. Her name is Ella. Which one of these fish do you think has the eggs inside? Well, you're right, Ella, the girl fish. And I told you earlier what the boys carry inside of them. And just a reminder, we call it milt, the fertilizer. Okay, so Sam and Ella, let's tell a little story. Sam and Ella have left the ocean. They have become spawners and they've smelled their way back to where they were born. So here they are swimming up the river. And now Ella's looking for a great place to lay her eggs. So she wants to make sure there's enough water flowing and she wants to make sure that the gravel on the bottom is the right size and that it's a safe place to lay her eggs. So once she has found a perfect place to lay her eggs, is she just gonna dump her eggs on top of the rocks? No, that would leave them exposed to sunlight and maybe the predators would be able to come and gobble them up. So she wants them to be protected. So she's going to dig a nest and she doesn't have a shovel so she's gonna use her tail. So let's see if Ella can dig a nest. So here she goes, she's on her side and she's digging that nest with her tail. Perfect. And this nest has a special name. We call it a red, spelled R-E-D-D. -D. Okay, so Ella's gonna sit on her nest and she's gonna protect that nest until she's ready to lay her eggs. But boys and girls, does anybody know what Sam's doing? It looks like he's busy having a nap here, but that's not the truth. So Sam is actually swimming around and he's chasing all the other boy fish away. And sometimes the boy fish even fight. You'll see teeth marks on them because he wants to be the one to fertilize Ella's eggs. Okay, so he's swimming around, he's chasing the boys away. And Ella, she's almost ready to lay her eggs, but she's gonna give Sam a signal 
because Sam needs to get in really close beside her when she lays her eggs. Because as soon as her eggs come out of her body, so we're gonna say this is a big giant salmon egg, and see that little hole on that egg right there? There's a hole right there. And as soon as this egg comes out of the fish and touches water, that hole starts to close and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And this is a giant milt or a sperm that came from the male. That sperm needs to swim through that hole before it closes. But this sperm only lives for about 30 seconds. So we need the eggs and the milt to be there at the same time if we want baby fish to start growing. Okay, so let's see if Sam and Ella can do this. So Ella is going to give a bit of a signal to Sam when she's ready. So he knows when to move in close. And what she does is she opens her mouth really wide. Open your mouth wide at home. Just open it like that. We call that gaping. And we think that also helps push the fish down to the bottom. And Sam will gape too. Okay, so let's see if this works. So, okay, Ella's ready to lay her eggs. She opens her mouth really wide and Sam moves right in beside her and the eggs start coming out of Ella. Oh, the eggs are coming out. Oh, and Sam managed to melt those eggs just in time. So now we have baby fish growing inside those eggs. But do you think Ella wants to leave her eggs sitting in that nest, exposed to sunlight and available for predators to eat? No, she doesn't. So she's going to swim upstream a little ways. She's going to go back on her side and she's going to bury those eggs under the rock so that they are protected. And now she's actually dug another nest where she may lay some more eggs. And that continues until she has no more energy left. She's going to stay around her nest for as long as she can until eventually she runs out of energy and she'll drift away and she'll die. And Sam, he may move on and fertilize a different female's eggs until he also runs out of energy and eventually will die. But we know that we have new life growing under these eggs for the next life cycle to begin. Okay, boys and girls, I've got one more thing I wanna to talk to you about today. So who can tell me how many eggs a female Chinook salmon will lay? Now the Chinook salmon are the largest salmon that live in the Pacific Ocean. And they're the type of salmon that you're gonna be raising at your school. So a female Chinook salmon, how many eggs does she lay? Well, I'll tell you, she lays an average of 5,000 eggs. And out of those 5,000 eggs, how many do you think are actually gonna survive? How many are gonna make it back to spawn? Let me show you, I'll demonstrate. So let's say these are 5,000 eggs right here. Now, only this many got fertilized. You see those orange eggs in there? Those are dead eggs. Those are eggs that just didn't get fertilized. So now, when we have our eggs hatch into alevins, this is all we've got for the alevins surviving. And now, this is how many fry survive that are going to start their journey to the ocean. And this is how many smolts make it to the ocean. So there's not very many left, are there? And boys and girls, this is how many adults actually return to spawn. There are only three beads in there. So anywhere from two to four adults out of the 5,000 eggs actually return to spawn. So their survival rate is not very high. But why is that? What happens to all of those other fish? Well, boys and girls, salmon are such an important part of the food chain that they provide food for 137 different species of animals so that those animals can also survive. So salmon are so important, we call them a keystone species because they provide food for so many other things. Well, thank you for joining me today here at the Kingfisher Interpretive Center, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye for now.